Yo, hello everyone and welcome back again to a brand new video. Bravo users, today we are exploring a quick guide on exporting contacts from Bravo in 2024. If you are into efficient contact management or email marketing, stay tuned as we unravel the steps to seamlessly export your contacts from the Bravo platform. So guys, without no further talking, let's get started. So before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have the full information. So, the first thing that you will need to do is to, of course, head up to Brevo.com and to sign up or log into your account. So, here we go in front of you, I'm going to show you how to do that real quick. And here I am on my account. Now, in this specific video, what we are going to do is to export contact from Brevo. So, of course, the first thing to do is to head up to contact with are going to be located on the left and here you will find lists uh, segments landing pages forms and settings so here we have lists now we don't have any lists yet because these ones are basically some old list that I didn't create they just came with default settings as you can see I can't even delete them they just stay there so I'm going to create now a new list which I'm going to name it exporting list so this list is gonna be basically our list where we're gonna export the contacts from what from so here we go now I have all folders all your first folder all folders and this is the exporting list I'm going to click right on it and as you can see here we have this uh, this basically random stuff so what I'm going to do is to have more items removed from list and I'm going to remove it from all the lists so here as you can see I need to add some kind of contact to this list first so now since I have made this list I need to actually add so I have it empty now I removed every every contact so I need to add a new contact into it so simply just head up right here I'm going to add a new contact here I'm going to name it for example somewhere like that here person one at gmail.com and this is basically gonna be the contact number one here we need to add uh, please fix the m1 invalid form this email address is already associated uh here we go okay create and there we go now i'm going to create another one which is going to be person number two it's going to be basically the same names and uh, let's name it for example jackson here florida and create so here normally if i refresh the page i will have two contacts right here i will have jackson florida and alvaro luna so these contacts now sometimes it is very easy for you to copy them so here we have jackson florida i'm just gonna copy copy c copy v copy c control v control c um yeah now i have copied these uh, informations but sometimes when you have a really really long list that has dozens of elements from contact name from subscribed or not the emails block listed or not the number and you have like a hundred of similar stuff to this for example you have hundreds of jacksons hundreds of different people with different names and you need to actually have them within your pc so to do so all you need to do is to simply hover and select this and as you can see here simply just click on more action after you click on more action just click on export and as you can see here you can choose where you want it to be exported so choose what you want to export about these two selected contacts what do you want exactly to be exported um i want the email i can for example add the first name last name etc and this is it now i'm going to and in which formats i would like it now to be in csv field separator all right it's perfect and now exports and as you can see i'm just gonna wait a little bit so exporting these two contacts it can take a few time now it is laggy a little bit and as you might notice it is not something that normally would be downloaded on your pc but in fact it's gonna be 
located in your email that you have with created your account so here we go now as you can see please download your context file right here so I should go to my email and click through the email link that they give me my context form and as you can see now here it is it is basically an Excel file with the actual names as you can see right here so here I have basically the uh, email which is this one here the first name and the last name and here the idle time modified time doesn't really matter for us but in general this is it this is how you can actually export files contacts anything from your account on uh, Brevo so it doesn't really becomes a hard thing to do it's a very simple as I have shown you so once more to make it easier for you to understand it much better so the first thing normally you would have to do is to go to your app.brevo.com and log into your account the next thing is to go to the contacts and right click on them after that you have to manage your contacts so in case you would like to actually export contacts you have to already already own some contacts so then you should go to one of your lists where you think you have these contacts are uh, uh, in and then simply go to your contact list as you can see right here go and select them by clicking on this button or you can literally select one by one but if you want to select all the lists you can simply click right here and the whole list is going to be selected and you can now do more actions by clicking on this button right here this button will give you the export option which eventually will allow you to have this pop-up this pop-up will allow you to choose which kind of things you would like to have exported so here we have chosen the email now I would like to add for example the first name and the last name or whatever things you would like context ID anything that you think that you would need and then choose how you want to have the separator the separator is basically this uh, separator between for example email and first name so here as you see um like we have here for example we have email and we have like a comma points between the email and the first name so this is exactly what is the separator here for example if you'd like to have the semicolon i mean or the comma so after that you simply have to click on export and it's gonna be not downloaded on your pc but it's gonna be sent to your email so you have to check your inbox in your email so there we go I think it must have been sent to us here we go once more so now all you need to do is to click on here and the file will be downloaded on your PC successfully so guys that was it for today's video if you did enjoy it make sure to leave a like and see you guys in the next tutorial